Using a dedicated Node Data Phone to operate your Mavic Mini or Mavic Air 2? Plan to fly with Airplane Mode on your phone? Today I'm going to show you how you can download the Map Cache or Offline Map for DJI Fly app. So the map will still be working even though you are using a Node Data mobile phone or plan to activate Airplane Mode when flying. I will show you that what happened if you did not download the map cache of that particular area you plan to fly. As you can see, I'm on airplane mode so there will be no incoming or outgoing data for my phone at this moment. Let's tap on the DJI Fly app. Once we are on the home screen, tap on connect aircraft and then camera view. You do not need to connect to the remote or the aircraft to do this by the way like what I'm doing now, just using my phone alone. Once you're in the main interface, tap on the map at the bottom left, enlarge it. So let's just say you are traveling from somewhere to Australia, Melbourne, with your drone and your phone do not have any data plan. And then you decided to fly your drone there. But to your surprise, you will see nothing on the map. No road, no district name. Basically, it's just a plain map. You can still take off and fly around of course, but you will not know the exact location where the aircraft is flying on the map. So what you are going to do now is to find a place with public Wi-Fi, maybe your hotel, Starbucks or a fast food outlets or something like that. Get a drink, sit down, connect to the Wi-Fi and open your DJI Fly app. Now I'm going to turn off the airplane mode as to assume you have connected to the internet and zoom in to that particular area that you want to download the map. Okay, now this is the real Melbourne. You will now have most of the information that a map provides on a large view. Zoom in further to download more details on that particular area. As you can see, all the route name has appeared by now and even shop name or landmark. You can also move around further to any places with a closer zoom to get the full details of the area. You can actually do it anywhere you are as long as you have an internet connection. Now I'm going to show you that assuming you have downloaded the map cache of that particular area before and if you plan to fly with no data or airplane mode activated, you still have full access to the map and the details. But if you plan to switch location without having the map cache, example, we will go to Sydney, again, you will have nothing over there. The reason you need to zoom in further and focus on a particular area is to get the map details as much as possible, like just now. We only zoom in at the downtown of Melbourne and for the nearby area, only partial information is available because I did not zoom in closer on that area. There are also other maps type available, the satellite and the mixed map. Since we only download the normal map just now, the other two will be blank. To download the other two maps, again, access to the internet for data, tap on this and tap your preferred map type. Let it load a while depending on your internet connection speed and wait for the surrounding to load up the details. And zoom in closer if you want to download more details of that area. Why is map important aside from navigation? Let's say something happened and you need to use the Find My Drone to locate the aircraft on the spot. If you have the map cache, you will be able to locate exactly where it is with the road name, the nearby building and so on. If you do not have the map cache ready on the spot, you can still see the aircraft indicator but totally no idea where is it located. Of course, you can still download the map after you lost the aircraft but you will first need to find a place with a public Wi-Fi order a drink, sit down and download. By the time you finish up, just hope that the aircraft is still located at the last trace spot. Or if you are on a mountain, jungle, places where you will not be able to get a public Wi-Fi or internet connection instantly, your search and rescue mission will need to be done probably the next day. And as day goes by, the chances of recovery is getting lesser. So make sure to have your map cache of that area if you plan to fly without data or on airplane mode. That's all for now. See you again on my next video.